Hey, Oscar fans, it's only early autumn, but we already know what's out front for Best Picture because these are the best Oscarologists on the planet. Ann Thompson of IndieWire, Pete Hammond of Deadline Hollywood. Yes. I'm Tom O'Neill of Gold Derby, and let's start with you, Ann. Your top three for Best Picture, Roma, First Man, Star is Born. Explain. Roma, Alfonso Cuaron, out of the festivals, exploded, even rated second at the Toronto Film Festival in the online voting. Third. B third after Beale Street, the first one right. was, was Green Book. Yes. So I think, yes, and we, we agree that's a good one. <laughs> but um, at this stage, A Star is Born, I went to the premiere. It is totally a, a crowd pleaser. It will go all the way, uh, multiple categories. And I believe Roma will too. And I believe that First Man is exquisitely made, and especially through the crafts and Ryan Gosling. They will, they will fall for all three of those films. Pete, nine of the experts at Gold Derby say Roma will win, five for Star, star is Born, four for First Man. Okay, let, let, let's stick with the Star is Born for, yeah. for now, because uh, we know that, that they, they, the dramatic history of A Star is Born at the Oscars, where it, it keeps disappointing, this movie yes. about Hollywood. That's true. Um, and all. If this actually performs as we hope it will and mm -hmm. expect it will, can it hang on to win Best Picture Next spring. Well, never say never. I think it could. You know, there is a Star is Born jinx when it comes to actually winning Best Picture. None of them have ever won. The last one, 42 years ago, wasn't even nominated right. for Best Picture. This one will be, I'm pretty sure. And it's a very strong, emotional movie. I showed it in my screening series the other day for a similar demographic to the Academy, or what used to be the demographic of the Academy. And it played great, you know. Even with the, tr you know, the sound with levels at on the uh, rock songs are so uh, <laughs> trumped up, right, right. you know, uh, as compared to the rest of the sh film, which is very kind of quiet and dramatic, and so it's in the Golden Globes as a musical or comedy. We think, or they're trying to put it in drama. Right, right, right. Yeah, I think it could go either way. But all the other Star Is Borns have been in musical comedy, and there's so much music, so that's probably where it belongs. It can get a boost out of there if it can win there, but it's up against some, some heavy competition in, in that this year. So it's got to follow the trajectory here of other, you know, traditional best picture contenders and hope it doesn't burn out. It's opening, you know. Early. Be, you know, very early. So is it's it first really, man. Is yes. it really, you know, when the Oscar calendar changed and, and the guilds and everybody moved up, um, the year of Last King of Scotland and the Queen, that year, seven of the eight winners of the top categories were October releases. Yeah, well, that may be, it's an uh, advantage. But yet last year, or two years ago, you could say, well, La La Land was probably out front for so long, that may have been one yeah, of the reasons it, it stumbled. Yeah, it played the festivals. There's that whole thing It's a question now. of when does it peak. Right, yeah. okay. That's, that's the, the issue. That is the and issue. And that's an art. That's a good, because La La yeah. peaked later, opened earlier, but peaked and later. And look what we have now, Clint Eastwood, Coming uh, is in. Is coming yeah, out with yeah, a yeah, yeah, movie yeah. featuring Bradley Cooper <laughs> from Warner Brothers, the studio behind A Star Is Born, and he is uh, Clint's the star of it, so he'll be competing for what he is indicating is his last movie, like and Robert Redford. Robert Redford. And uh, he'll be competing against Bradley Cooper for that acting uh, thing too. And he was the original director of Star Is Born <laughs> until he wax, dropped yes, out. Yes, so yes. this is so incestuous with this situation. And, and that can actually have an effect because that movie's coming in on Clint's lucky date of uh, mid-December when Million Dollar Baby opened. The last December release to win Best Picture, yeah. right? Um, the Favorite. I finally saw The Favorite last night. I loved I it. I love The Favorite. What such a great movie. Yeah. Uh, that's I can't wait to see it again. Yeah. That was in fourth it's place. It's all about Eve. Yeah, <laughs> and, which won Best Picture, of course. Yeah. Uh, Black Klansman was way out front early at, among us experts at Gold Derby. It's now uh, in fifth place, Beale Street. Do you guys have thoughts about these movies? And are there, are there, a, are there, a, is there a winner here? A clear winner? I know, and you're no. firmly behind the, uh, or at least for now, this Roma uh, passion. But uh, is well, it a case? Well, Green Book is the one you haven't mentioned, yeah, and well, it and really is. Right, right, yeah. It does have all the boxes ticked. It's it's yeah. it's driving Miss Daisy, or it's a Clash, or it's it's one of these mainstream the movies the that the blind, that has. Uh, it makes the white people feel good. It makes the black <laughs> people feel good. It, everybody feels everybody good. Everybody feels when good, they and see everybody this movie. raves about it. I was out to dinner uh, this week with a member of the Academy who is a casting director, very famous. And all she could do was talk about Green Book. She w literally, with the level of enthusiasm and passion that 
makes best picture winners. And I saw it play in Toronto in yeah, the got theater. That standing it ovation. Just, right. They just went nuts. Yeah. It's one thing for the Lady Gaga fans to go nuts. That's about right. her as a star. <laughs> right, yeah. right. This was about a movie nobody had ever heard of. Right. Yeah, right. and it comes out and of left field. And the actors are so good and in it. And with Pete Farrelly, who's not known for this kind of film, directing it. Um, it is and developing the script and the story. It's definitely the secret weapon, right. I would say, the secret weapon. Now, again, we have a whole new academy, a lot of different kind of members and, and international members. And that can favor um, a movie like Roma, even though it's in the foreign language race and they may feel like that's a Best Picture prize there, voting for it there. Some movies have gotten nominated for Best Picture too, but none have ever won that have won foreign film and then gone on to win Best Picture. It's never happened. And there may be that psychological mindset that I just voted for that in a, in a picture category. The um, reason I'm going to argue against that and the reason why I'm so high on Roma is that it represents an advance in uh, the art of motion pictures that we have not seen before. How so? It's black and white. It's black and it white, doesn't ha but it's, it's not digital. plot heavy. It's 65, Alexa, Ari Alexa. It's deep deep focus. It's these series of intricate long shots and just to listen to any director who knows what he's doing reflect on how that movie got made is to see awe. Is to, I mean, I will bet my life that Quaron wins director again, well, he's way having, yeah, yeah. having won Gravity given the already. Recent history of that he may, but I don't know people beyond the directors um, that think about the movie that way. No, it has an know. emotional impact, is yeah, the real you know, thing. I mean, it's, it's a it black and a white plot. Spanish language movie it with has a plot. <laughs> uh, a no name stars, in fact, most cases, non actors in the movie. So, you know, that is a risky thing and but it's yeah, got Lisa. the Netflix factor but you know we don't know if they're ready to annoy a next Netflix movie that way. It's going to be up to this campaign that they're going to launch to cleverly keep this in theaters somehow and keep it a secret that it's actually on Netflix because the whole thing about this movie, the sale of this movie, the way he wants to present it technically in these specific theaters is all about the theatrical experience. And then when you know that it's Netflix that financed it and, and then is really basically not changing their uh, tune on how they're releasing it, uh, it's still gonna be day and date. I don't think there's as big a bias against Netflix as you think. Well, we and don't I know. Think it's, that again, it's from, So what they're doing, uh, the people who are campaigning for it, Lisa Tabak and her team and all the people that Netflix have hired to do their job, they're taking it to every festival they can, yeah. local festivals like Mill Valley. Yeah, they're I'm they're actually uh, booking it in Alamo and Landmark theaters. They're keeping open runs. As long as it plays, it plays. Uh, so this will have a bigger theatrical footprint print than any previous Netflix Yeah, album. which is basically one, two weeks. I think Mudbound, <laughs> Mudbound had four. <laughs> Let's they talk money here. Let's talk in money. New York. And, oh, and we're going to wrap up here and give Anne and the last word. And they're not going to report the numbers. They're not, which no. means that no, if it is as Anne how is, it does. Moonlight didn't make any money. Hurt Locker made any money. That doesn't matter anymore. All right, to win we're going to give... Picture. But it will be the lowest grossing Best Picture winner of all time. That's because true. It'll because have we won't know no what the gross, gross is. Oh, I <laughs> all right, all right. Pete, Pete, Pete and I have a profound disagreement with you, Anne, which is? is we think that if, the, if things go right, Black Panther could actually win Best Picture. And you don't, and you, uh, well, we talked I about have this it up, in my rankings. I know, I know. But, and we talked about the reason I'm, I'm talking about this. But I'm also, uh, I'm bringing it up here because I want to pair Black Panther off with that other box office hit, Crazy uh, Rich Asians, which you just poo-pooed the idea of a Best Picture nomination. Oh, with with, with the collapse I of do. the most popular picture category, could Pete and I be right and Black Panther go all the way? I always thought it could. Okay. I always okay. thought it could. Not then necessarily for you. the win. That's what I mean, for the I win. Mean if things fall right. Multiple nominations. Uh, right, right, right. All right. the way across the no board. Question. Uh, you know, 12, 11, you know, a really solid I don't number. Know. It would have to get a lot of acting, and the acting is all, you That's know, true. in terms of. That's true. I mean, does I Crazy Rich far. Asians get in for get Best Picture or not? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Why are you so definitive? No. It's just, it's, 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 a, it's a, a genre issue. It's a, it's a, so was Get Out. So is each of 
them transcended it <laughs> with their serious uh, bona fides, which I don't think crazy. I, 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 I comedy, a comedy gets nominated. It is strictly nominated. popular. I liked it, and I enjoyed I know, it for what I, it was. You know, I Every now and then, a comedy gets nominated. It's a phenomenon. This it's isn't an the all one the writers <laughs> are going to nominate. Well, you know, it's an all. The writers? Uh, uh, let, 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 the writers. let me have we the final word categories. here. It's an all Asian cast. Remember what? this. It's an all Asian cast, and that's very important, too. And I'll just say, with Roma, the Academy is concentrated, because you just brought this up about the popular movie right, right, thing, right, right, which right. they've deep-sixed. Uh, are they going to have it in their mind, because that was so publicized about that idea that their the ratings are sinking, they're not relating to the audience that watches the Oscars, are they going to think Roma, a black and white subtitled Spanish movie with no <laughs> stars, is what we're sending out as Best Picture, because that continues the long funeral of the Oscars in their <laughs> minds. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Who in is that? I their feel mind. like you are speaking on behalf of the governors of the Academy. I am. I'm, no, I, I said that. I it said is it's not the job of, of the Academy to provide movies that are going to get ratings at the Oscars. That okay. is not their job. Their job is to reward the Look best last year. movies of saying, the year. I am not we saying. We already had this. I, I am uh, not <laughs> saying that, that. I'm not saying that from my point of view. I'm saying as I couched it here, if you listen to me, <laughs> are they going to think, since he brought a popular movie, are they going to think about that when they cast their Voters. ballots? Because yes, I of agree the publicity they will. that it got. That's but, all I'm saying. But Anne is right to the extent that they're going more and more in an art house direction, because as we they, saw that's last That's what they've been doing. And they partly did. because of the new membership. Yeah, but but John they, Bailey, who's president, <laughs> has told me on more than one occasion, <laughs> he has said, we have to stop becoming the Independent Spirit Awards. And he's determined to leave okay. that. But I don't know. I have no idea. Rome is a beautiful movie, and it would fit in the recent pattern. And what I started to say, too, the international new uh, membership, you have to think that they're they are going, going to add it. votes for it, right? Absolutely. Sure. And, so. and, and, and it's so interesting because the Academy is like moving toward diversity over here and <laughs> adding all these independents and all these sophisticated. And like, but no. <laughs> but no, we have to go with, <laughs> you know, best popular it's very movie hard over to here. It's, the Oscars. It's, it's what it is. Oh, it is. It's As we learned last year with yeah. Shape of Water, <laughs> three billboards, our predictions don't matter at all. Yours do. Go to Gold Derby. Give us your predictions now. Lock in those early odds and prove that you are the best prognosticator on the planet, not us. Yeah.